They said it could never be done, or almost never be done. They said it was impossible, or nearly impossible. They said it was extremely complicated, or at least a slight hassle. Well, one of those statements is kind of true, because today I'm going to be talking about transferring money out of China legally. None of that, you know, under the table kind of stuff. If you've lived in China for a while and you've decided that it's time to maybe go home or you simply just want to send some money back to your family or to your own personal account abroad, then you'll need to figure out how to transfer money legally out of China. Now, if you don't do your homework, it can be a time-consuming hassle involving lots of running around. But if you know what to do in advance and what steps to take, then you can save a lot of time and stress. So today, I'll tell you how you can manage to send money out of China legally because I recently managed to do exactly that and succeeded. So here we go. First things first, you'll need to be legally employed in China on a legal contract and on a legal visa. If not, then I'm sorry, this video may not be much help to you. Now that we've got that out of the way, the first thing you need to do is find out what your tax file number is. You can probably get this from the finance department at whatever company you work for. Secondly, you'll need to use that number to get a record of your tax payments that you have made in China. I did that by going to my local tax bureau office and requesting a record of my tax payments over the last couple of years. It took around 45 minutes. Oh, and remember to bring your passport. Then you'll need to go to the bank, but you can't just turn up with your bank card and your tax records. You'll also need your passport, your current contract, the details of the bank account overseas that you want to transfer money to, your work permit, and some patience. As foreigners, we are a small minority in this country when you put it into perspective. So it is likely that once you get to the bank, the clerk may be attempting to make an international transaction for the first time, or the first time in a long time for a foreigner, depending where you are. That is why I say bring along just a little bit of patience, and a smile helps too. Then the bank will need to confirm that the money that has been transferred into your account, i.e. your salary, matches up with the tax payments that you have made which sometimes can take a little while, especially if you are transferring a large amount. This is because China is very strict when it comes to money laundering and the illegal use of funds. Chinese nationals have a maximum of 50,000 US dollars that they can transfer abroad each year, but foreigners are not limited to 50,000 US dollars, as long as you can prove that tax has been paid on what you have earned, and you are sending the money to a bank account that is also in your name. If not, then you will also be capped at 50,000 US dollars. Then you'll be asked to fill out a few forms and then you should be done. But today, I wanna to give you a few hints to make the process a little bit smoother. Firstly, it is a good idea to print out the details of the bank account you want to transfer money to abroad in large font on an A4 piece of paper. That way, you can avoid any mistakes while the clerk at the bank enters those details into the system and avoid a repeat visit to the bank. Secondly, you'll want to either get a photocopy of your tax records or a second set of tax records to keep for yourself, depending on the tax laws in your own country, to prove down the line that tax has actually been paid on that money. Also, something that I discovered, according to what I was told by my bank, is that they can only approve international transfers for money that was transferred into that bank's account as salary payments. So, if for whatever reason you are paid into two different accounts issued by two different banks, and you have money in both that you want to send abroad, you may have to repeat the process twice. Or, if you have a bank account that you use as a savings account, you'll want to transfer the money that you have saved back into the account that you received it with 
and make the transfer with that bank account. Now, I want to state that this is according to my experience in Guangzhou, Guangdong, so things could be a little different where you are if you are in another part of China. Also, in my experience, you'll need to visit the main branch of your bank in your city to be able to make the transfer because most local branches, unfortunately, can't make international transfers. Now, I know there are other ways to transfer money out of China, but in my opinion, it is always best to try the legal way first. Because when it comes to your hard-earned cash, you want to make sure that you don't do anything that could get you in trouble either in China or in your home country. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you think I've left anything out or have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll try my best to give you an answer. Oh, and a subscription to this channel would be awesome as well. Thank you very much for watching and happy transferring.